Welcome to Chapter in 10, your ultimate guide to mastering Class 7 chapters in just a few minutes. Have you ever felt like you're unlocking a new level of yourself? It can be an amazing feeling, like when the girl in our image looks in the mirror and sees a superhero ready for anything. Much like this powerful reflection, adolescence is a time of incredible changes, both inside and out. Get ready to explore adolescence, a stage of growth and change, and discover the amazing changes happening within you. This chapter is divided into two parts, and this is the second part of our journey. Today, we're diving deep into it through a fantastic Quanda challenge that will help you master this chapter. So, grab your thinking caps, get ready to guess the answers, and let's spark our brains. Let us switch on our minds and see what we can discover. Let's talk about the changes that happen to us as we grow up. Ramesh, an 11-year-old, has developed a few pimples on his face. His mother told him this is due to biological changes. What could be the reason for these pimples? Pimples, also called acne, appear because of more oil coming out of the skin during teenage years. This oil can block the skin's pores, which then get infected and turn into reddish pimples. Now what can Ramesh do to get some relief? To get some relief, it's important for Ramesh to keep his face clean by washing it regularly with soap and water. Also, he should avoid squeezing pimples, as this can make the infection worse and lead to scars. Speaking of staying healthy, let's talk about food. We have two groups, junk food and a healthy diet. Which one is better for you as adolescents and why? A healthy diet is a much better option. It gives your body all the important nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals that you need to grow taller and for your brain to develop properly. Junk foods like pizza and burgers have lots of unhealthy fats and sugar, but very few nutrients. Eating too much of them isn't good for your growing body. Moving on, what is the discharge of blood in adolescent girls that generally occurs every 28-30 days called? The answer is menstruation. Next, what is the hoarseness in the voice of adolescent boys due to? It's due to an enlarged voice box. What is the onset of adulthood, marked by secondary sexual characteristics called? That's right, it's puberty. And what two addictive substances should we always say no to? The answer is alcohol and drugs. Shalu told her friend that adolescence only brings physical changes. Is she correct? What would you change in her description? Shalu is not completely correct. Adolescence is a time of many changes, not just physical ones. There are big emotional changes where you might feel very sensitive or moody. You also go through social changes, wanting to spend more time with friends. Your brain develops, leading to mental changes that help you think more abstractly. Your body also prepares for reproduction, which is a major biological change. Finally, you develop the ability to make mature decisions. So, it's a time of physical, emotional, and social changes. In a class discussion, some students said that adolescents don't need to worry about behavioral changes. What question would you ask them to check if they are correct? You could ask them, Why do you think adolescents don't need to worry about behavioral changes when our chapter says their emotions can get stronger and affect their behavior? Another student said that if someone tries a harmful substance once, they can stop any time. What question would you ask them? You could ask, if someone can stop any time, then why does our chapter say that these substances are addictive and make people want to take them again and again? We know adolescents sometimes have mood swings. What other behavioral changes are associated with this age? Teenagers might become more sensitive. They also might get interested in new things or want to help others in need. Mohini noticed used sanitary pads near a bin and was upset. She and her friends discussed menstrual hygiene. What sanitary habits would you suggest to your friends? It's very important to keep yourself clean during menstruation. You should properly throw away used sanitary pads by wrapping them in newspaper and putting them in a dustbin. Mary and Manoy both developed a bump on their neck. The doctor gave Mary medicine, but told Manoj it was a part of growing up. 
Why were they advised differently? The doctor advised them differently because the bumps were for different reasons. For Minoj, the bump was a normal sign of puberty. When boys grow, their voice box gets bigger, which is called an Adam's apple. For Mary, her doctor's advice to take medicine and iodine-rich foods suggests her neck bulge was a health issue, possibly a swollen thyroid gland. Finally, let's summarize the physical changes that happen during adolescence. What are the physical changes that boys and girls undergo? For boys, their voice becomes deeper and they grow facial hair. For girls, they undergo the development of breasts. And for both boys and girls, they may get pimples on their face and grow hair in their armpits and pubic region. Excellent work, everyone. You've tackled some tricky questions about adolescence, a stage of growth and change. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning. This video is part of our comprehensive Class 7 Science Curiosity Playlist, so make sure to check out the full series for more exciting lessons. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Chapter in 10 for more exciting lessons. See you next time.